Hey everybody, this is uh, Technology Computers. I'm going to uh, show you the basics of using your computer. Uh, believe it or not, a lot of people don't really know how to use their computer or navigate through it. I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos covering a lot of different things uh, dealing with computers from basic how to set up a printer to, I don't know, configure an Active Directory if you know what that is, or um, DNS, all sorts of stuff. But for now, I'm just going to kick it off with the basics because a lot of people need to know this. So first off, uh, this is your desktop. I know it's a little small, I just have it that way so you guys can really see where I click and everything. But this is your desktop. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, these are your icons up here. You can right click them. Uh, do, do a lot of stuff here. You go to the properties. Oh, where, where does that shortcut lead to? Well, target. So if you need to find it, you go to C, which is your hard drive, which is like where everything's installed. Then you just follow it. Windows folder, double click. Uh, Twain32, double click. And so on and so forth. Compatibility if you need to run this in a different kit. What this is going to get a little bit more detailed, so let's just skip all this for now. I just wanted to show you that you can right click on it and you can do stuff to them. Okay, so down here is your start menu. Clearly hover over it, it says start. Uh, this here is your taskbar, so you can right click on this. You can go to the properties or the uh, task manager. The other ones here, they're good, but these are the two most used ones links right here task manager is will show you what's running on your computer right now I'm looking at the users tab uh, and my current user logged in is called family so which is why you see family if you had other people on your network you can see their names listed here but just your network like you have to make a network for that that's a whole other program most likely you're only going to see the one person logged in here which would be you uh, networking tab uh, this is your your internet let's say like uh, you know that thing that you plug your internet cord into well that's a, called an RJ45 uh, adapter or it's a NIC card for network internet connection okay so here it's showing I have zero. If you can look, you see this little green line down here, that's nothing. So if I start using the internet, let's say go to Google, start typing in things, uh, yahoo.com, no, I don't want to go there, let's go to Facebook, alright, no, I don't want to go to Facebook anymore, so myspace.com, lots of different things, you start using it, and now you can see that I have spikes. So this is a good thing to get into. It's a good thing to learn. You can see how much internet you're using. It's good. In more later on videos, I'll show you how to set up alerts. So like if you're gone for the weekend, you can have this thing recording. So you can see maybe if your neighbors or someone's stealing your internet, you'll see by using this if your network is being used. Okay. Performance. Uh, we'll start up here. So this is your CPU, other than, also known as your processor. So this just shows you if this is full, that means you're using your processor 100%. It's working hard. It It's probably time to either close down some programs, update your processor, a lot of different things. Uh, if you notice, some people have one window here, two windows, three, four, I have six. All that means is I have six processors in my computer and these are each individual windows on each processor and this is the total. So down here you got memory. Uh, memory is RAM. So this will, same thing like your processor, this is just tracking your RAM and how much RAM you're using. I have 8 gigs of RAM. I'm only using 1.24 gigs see this little blue bar I'm constantly staying below this I think I believe this bar turns yellow when it gets to the middle and red when it's at the top and that just means you're using a lot of your RAM and it's probably time to again shut down your computer restart it 
update your RAM, close some programs, whatever. We'll, we'll get into all that in more videos. Services, what's running. Uh, most of this stuff, like we can go on and on about it. It just needs to stay up. Don't worry about it. It's it's okay. If you want, if you're curious, you can Google each one to see exactly what they do. I personally do not know what each of these does. Uh, processes is good to know. This is a very good this is a very good tab to learn uh, for viruses, uh, for when things are frozen, or let's say you're surfing the net and you get that page where it says oh you have 25 viruses click here to scan don't ever click those those are those themselves are viruses and if you click anywhere on that page you could possibly unleash that virus so what you do is you simply hold down control alt and delete so control and alt are usually at the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard and delete is usually somewhere above the little up down left and right arrows so you press them all at the same time. You'll get it. You'll you'll see a screen pop up. You just click on Start Task Manager, which will bring you to this Windows Task Manager. And then what you want to do when you see that page with the with the virus on it. So I'm going to open up Google. Let's just say this is that page that has a virus on it. Yada yada yada. I'm going to come here and see how mine says Chrome that's because I'm using Google Chrome so if you want a lot of people will have either Firefox or Internet Explorer so for Internet Explorer it'll say I Explorer so all you do is you right click on it and process go over here and process then you click on the other one and process click back over here and process I've shut it down without clicking anything on the web page that's the best way to do it and that's the only way I'm gonna show say to do it your applications another good one uh, this will show you what's running so let's say you're playing a game like I for instance play World of Warcraft sometimes and sometimes it hangs up or it freezes so I press control alt delete I get here I click on it and you can come down here and go end task or you can right click on it and go to end task and what that's do it's gonna you'll see a little window pop up it'll you know are you sure you want to end task yes end it and it'll close the program for you that can't close on its own okay so here's like your uh, your action center I like to call it it just shows you pretty much what's going on in your computer at the moment you get your time get your volume and then you can boost this up and down hit mixer to go to your mixer you pretty much don't you can pretty much just do everything right from here here's your network click on it you know it shows you that it's working you know you're currently connected to network internet access it would say uh, disabled or troubleshoot or something here if you didn't have internet here's uh, your action center the real action center I got nothing but this will show you if you need to like update or if you got to back up your computer all sorts of different things will just show you right here this little triangle is just things that are kind of running on the background you know like this is the program that I'm using to actually talk to you guys right now this is my uh, printer event manager my printer itself my my card settings my hard drive I can remove my hard drive you always want to do that eject don't just pull it out because you can sometimes corrupt your files okay so back to the start menu uh, Windows 7 changed a little bit over XP and Vista so you notice here it just says computer so if anyone says go to computer or open up uh, uh, Windows Explorer this is Windows Explorer just click on my computer or computer depending on which version of Windows you're using you got your control panel uh, your devices and printers this is where you'll set up printers and webcams and stuff like that uh, default programs like uh, let's say you got I don't know iTunes and Windows Media and you double click on a song and you always want iTunes to open 
but usually Windows Media will open. So you can go here and set that up to default programs. Uh, this here is probably the handiest place. The search bar right here. You can type anything you want here that's on your computer and Windows will find it. Paint, Microsoft Paint. You see it up there. Um, what else do I got on my... Uh, let's just even go to games. Guild Wars shows you right here like anything you want um, Windows Media Windows Media Player anything you want if you're having a hard time finding it on your computer just search it right there it's easy so moving forward uh, these here is your quick start um, options you can remove these keep them add more to remove it just right hover over it right click Go remove from this list. Remove it. Remove from this list. Remove from this list. You know, all this. Remove from this list. You can also add to it. So you just go to your programs. Uh, so I'm going to add Guild Wars 2 there. So I'm going to go to Guild Wars 2. Find it. Right click. Pin this to start menu hit back now it's there see the little line here that's just because I pinned it this is just recommended stuff things you use more often will automatically show up in this list but if you pin things yourself uh, if you pin things yourself this men this little line here will come down and come down and come down and eventually it'll just be the things you've pinned on it yourself so back to Guild Wars uh, you can also pin to uh, taskbar right here you click that and it puts the the guild the guild wars 2 puts it right down here one click it's open and it'll always stay on your desktop it's just there on your taskbar it's it'll just always be there you can move it move them around just click it hold it click and hold move it where you want to move it um so you got your control panel back in your start menu Control panel is a good place. This is where you can do a lot of your things. Okay, this opens. It's not going to look like a lot of yours because probably a lot of people just leave it as category view. But to change that, you go up here. It says view by, large icons, category. This is usually what most people will see. I can't stand this view. I can't find half of the things that I'm looking for. Yeah, it looks, it makes sense. Everything's all nice and titled. But I don't like to click and click and click. I just like to click once and get where I need to go. So I always change the category to large or small. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'll use small in this case. And it just lists everything. All in alphabetical order. From uh, left to right. So you could do lots in here. You could change your mouse. How fast your mouse goes. Your system. See what your system's up to. Put some fonts in there. Update. Very important. Windows updates, get them done. If you're on a business or like a a business network, you might not be able to do it, or it might not be a good idea to do it, because a lot of IT admins like to uh, test updates before they just release them. Uh, you get your firewall, get some sounds. Uh, program and features is a good one. I'll uh, I'll walk you through it right now. Uh, this is if you download something and install it and you don't want it anymore. This is the best place to uninstall it. So you just click it, brings up a list here of all the things that you have installed on your computer. So I don't really have anything that I need to uninstall. Let me just take a little quick look. No. But all you do is you just click on it. Let's say I want to uninstall the program I'm using now to show you guys this video called cam studio you just click on it once left click I mean and then just hit uninstall and it'll walk you through the process of uninstalling it and a lot of times when it says you know okay uninstalled yada 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 it's also good to go and check your your C drive I, okay I'm jumping the gun C drive is 90% of where people just put their their stuff I'm trying to keep it as layman terms as possible but they just so you go into your uh, computer in the start menu hit 
computer, you'll see this. This is your C drive. See so a little C, E drive, E, F drive, F. C drive is where all your files are stored for your computer. So when you download something, it usually goes in program files. X86, because I have a Windows 64 bit computer, this is a 64 bit folder. And x86, for some strange reason, is 32 bit. So if you download programs that only run in 32 bit, they'll show up here. And this is a list. So let's say I uninstalled Cam Studio. Well, it sometimes won't delete this folder. So I'll just go here and delete it. Get it out of your computer. Try and keep your computer as clean as you can because after a while it gets really messy. Okay, you can also search up here for programs and stuff. Uh, you got your library, your documents, music, pictures, videos. You can also have a list here of your hard drive. This is your uh, operating system boot drive, something Windows 7 just makes. As you can see, it says empty. That's I'm not going to get into that at all in this video. That's just how your, your computer loads, pretty much. Uh, this here is my hard drive that I bring around with me everywhere. I just plug it in. USB gives me everything I want. I got space. So I can put my movies on there, my web page, whatever the case is. Okay, so back to the start, the task manager, or sorry, the task bar. I showed you this uh, task manager, so now I want to show you properties. This is where you can change your, just the way the task bar is. So you can lock the task bar, which is, it'll always be at the bottom. You can auto hide it. So if you click this and you hit apply, the task bar just goes down. See how it moves? And if you want, to, I kind of find it annoying sometimes when I, I don't know, especially when you're on the internet and you download something and usually the download shows up down here and you go to, you go to get it, and the taskbar shows up and it's, I don't know. So just lock your taskbar. Small icons just means these go small. See, they're all, they're all tiny now. Not my folders, just my taskbar. Uh, taskbar location. You can move it. I can have it on the right. Hit apply. My taskbar is now over here. Um, I can get it at the top. Apply. Taskbar is up here now. It's just all preference. All where you want to have it. Okay, so your start menu. Pretty very straightforward stuff here. There's nothing really you need to, to do here. That's all okay. Uh, there's anything else I need to show you on here? No. Okay, so I guess that's a quick rundown on your computer. Thanks for listening, people. I hope this helps a little bit. Um, if you know, if you're tired of explaining to your mother what all the things are, maybe show them this video. Maybe give them my email or tell them to subscribe. But I will be posting things every day, simple things on how to do with your computer. Thanks, everyone.